Stage three of the UAE Tour, the Middle East's only world tour event, would take the riders over 184 kilometers from Al Qudra cycle track to Jebel Hafid. It was a hot day in the saddle for all the riders. Took a little while for the four-man breakaway group to establish itself. When it did, they were given a maximum lead of just over seven minutes. That was quickly pared down by degrees. Turned out to be a difficult day for many riders in the saddle. Two significant crashes along the way. Emmanuel Buchmann, the climber for the Bora Hansgrohe squad, perhaps the most affected, although he got back on his bike, got safely back into the main peloton, which chased around the four-rider group, which had been led away by the World Hour record holder, Victor Kampenertz. Also in there, Jasper de Boist of the Lado Sudal squad, Stein Steels of the uh, De Quick Quickstep team, and the only non-Belgian in there, the Italian Umberto Marengo racing with the Vinny Zabu squad. Last man to survive from the breakaway group up front, Victor Kampenertz before the heavy hitters, you might say even the light riders, hit the final climb. Almost 11 kilometers, Jebel Hafid beckoned all day, and he unzipped his red jersey. Caleb Newen knew that he was stepping out of the race lead. For Chris Froome, four-time Tour de France winner, continues his preparation, but he was not to be a contender. It was his fellow Brit, Adam Yates, who would launch the first Zalvo from the leading group, the first significant attack, closing and racing up the hill uh, with Alexi Lutsenko and David Godou. But Yates looking so much in control. Missing the early move was the pre-stage favourite, Tadej Pogacar. Lutsenko picking up the pace on the front, but Yates looking very much in control of his effort as that uh, group of chasers behind reduced in size. And Adam Yates, still with well over five kilometers remaining to the top of the mountain, decided enough was enough. He wanted a race solo. He quickly established an advantage of over uh, 20 seconds over the uh, larger group of favorites behind Lutsenko and Godou. Finally, Pogacar decided to take his chance, at which time he had uh, over 18 seconds to try and find on Adam Yates, who was in determined mood his first race of the season, and Adam Yates has clearly wintered well. As Pogacar raced past Godou and then Lutsenko, and clear of that duo, second on the hill, the 21-year-old Slovenian could do little about Adam Yates, who had already extended his advantage over 40 seconds. That would continue to grow as he raced towards the line, the 11-kilometer climb. He made light work of it. 27-year-old from Bury in Lancashire, racing for Mitchelton Scott, and taking his first victory in the UA Tour. A stage victory for Adam Yates, and with it, a commanding overall race lead. Adam Yates, uh, more than a minute clear by the time that uh, Tade Pogacar completed in second place, Lutsenko in third. David Gaudu, Rafa Maika, Elisi Conrad, Izagir, Harada and Dunbar left in his wake.